When we set out to create this Atlas device, we didn't want to dictate to the student how to use it. We wanted to create a convertible, adaptable, mobile, agile computer that allowed the student to interact with it how they wanted, when they wanted, where they wanted, regardless of whether it was inside of the classroom, outside of the field trip, whatever environment they found themselves in. So this device right here, when we think about its ability to empower and enable education, we look at features right here like this 235 degree rotatable camera. I'm, a, I'm suddenly find myself inside the classroom working on science experiments, have the opportunity to capture a subject behind the device, and then again I find myself needing to come back to narrate an explanation of an experiment and the camera's right back at me. Beyond that, back inside of the walls of the classroom, I think about features powered by Windows 10. I think about things like Windows Hello. How can I get this device to recognize me without the use of a password or something that can be copied or lost? Well, the Atlas has a built-in fingerprint reader integrated directly here into the power button. Beyond that, the device has an active capacitance touchscreen. This screen right here with the included active stylus, I can take this device, move it directly into a tablet just like that. Windows 10 is going to reorient the device and it's going to switch it into tablet mode. From here, it has built-in palm rejection technology. It has press sensitivity. It knows how hard I'm pressing and allows me to write natively here on this device. This device, from the beginning, from its inception, was the idea of not creating a device and telling students how to use it. This device was designed with flexibility, adaptability, and mobility so that students could decide how they want to use it. And that is why we created the Atlas. It was created for the student. Every single part of it, piece of it, every design element from this camera we looked at to the active touchscreen we talked about, they serve the student. Coupled then with the power of Windows 10 to be able to use inking inside of Microsoft Edge and other applications, when I look at OneNote, this device's ability is unmatched.